红威。So today we came to a lake that I haven't been to in, I don't know, a long, long time. And I definitely haven't fished here in the winter time. You look on the map, there's, there's no waypoints, anything. And what the reason I came here is because I had heard a rumor that there was this grass growing in it. Kind of wanted to kill two birds with one stone. I want to be fishing around some grass and also go to a new lake where uh, you have to develop a pattern. And, and that's what we're going to try to teach today is is a lot of times when you go to a lake, even when I fish, you know, like Teen Killer, my home lake, I try to always make it about a pattern and not about a spot. It just, it seems to, it seems to last longer. And, and, you know, if you pay attention to what's going on around you and the fish, it's just, you, you can cover more water. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. You know, we're just going to use the mapping. The water temperature is, oh my goodness, I haven't, 38 degrees. And that's probably the toughest time to try to develop a pattern is in the winter time because, you know, it's just hard to get, it's hard to get bites. It's hard to get those pieces of that puzzle um, because the water is so cold. But you no, know, so we'll see if we can get something going and just, uh, and kind of run with it. The lake, you know, it's got a lot to offer. We've already seen grass, you know, but it's got some channel swings and some points and stuff like that you know, a creek running into it. So we're gonna see if we can figure something out. So we just got rolling. And uh, like I said, I don't know what's, I don't have a clue. And literally what I've done is you just put the trolling motor down, put a bait in your hand that you can cover a little bit of water. Cause we don't have, you know, two or three days. We literally got today to film and that's it. So I picked up this uh, one knocker lipless and just, you know, going to cover some water and I like baits, you know, like the lipless or a spinner bait or something like that to start off with, because not only can I cover water, but I can cover a lot of different depths. You know, I can let this thing go to the bottom and slow roll it. I can reel it up shallow. I can do a lot of things with it. And what, what we're hunting now, you know, the first piece of the puzzle is just a bite. Um, you know, to be able to develop a pattern, you need some pieces and we need that first, you know, that first bite is really, really important. And until we get that, you know, you're going to see me looking around a whole bunch, kind of seeing what, what the lake has to offer until we get something, you know, until we get something going. The problem is the water's 39. And I want to move fast to cover a bunch of water. And you have to remember that, you know, I'm going to have to slow down. So I'm going to have to move fast, but kind of fish slow, if that makes sense. You know, I started at the mouth of this. This looks like to be like a longer creek that's got some depth in it, just around the mouth of it, which is a good wintertime place for these fish to hold up. Kind of start here and you know, start on the obvious stuff, some channel swings, uh, you know, those rocks over there are looking pretty good. Just see if we can get a bite, get a bite or two, let, it, let the fish tell us, you know, if they want to be shallow, if they want to be deep, and then kind of go from there. <clears throat> Just moving around, like looking at the lake, this is one of the few like distinct offshore places that I see so I'm just going to idle over it and see if there's any brush or grass or anything on it you can see the creek channel kind of touches it as a whole this is not a really deep lake so any kind of you know contour where those lines right there all get close means you know like a steeper drop up here on this upper end you know it looks like a good place for them to live in the winter time we just need to have a little structure. It looks like maybe an old road or something going across. I see a few fish out here in the ditch. Those typically aren't bass, but bass want to be on something, you know, they want to live around this area right here, especially in the winter time.
Ah, I got one. Oh, you're not bothering me. You bet you. I appreciate it. I don't know if you want it after. Heck yeah. Us not catching anything. I won't be. I won't be wearing this one probably. I appreciate you. You bet. Yeah, over there on that point, that far point where that bird just got up. Thank you. Yeah, out about like. 20, 25, there was just. Right here, left of the, that, uh, yeah, there was just a bunch of them out there. They look like crappie. We're just, we're just out here fiddling around, actually. This is Ken Robertson. He's the owner of Huckabee Rocks. Nice. I know. So you probably have some dealings with Todd. Yeah, oh yeah. I met you at uh, one of the uh, tackle shows. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know Todd. He, he reaches out every now and then if he. with some different stuff, you know, like kids' stuff. You bet. Hopefully you guys catch them. We'll probably see you. Yeah, I don't know about that. So I just need to catch some. Barely hooked. Look how fat and blowed up that dude is. I mean, he's cold. <laughs> it only took four hours, but we got a bite. He's cold. I'm just fishing too fast. That's all it is. We've done a circle around here going 90 miles an hour. And uh, I mean, look how this, this feels like an ice cube. Just gotta slow down. I come by that stump. You know, I saw one or two down there. And uh, it's just like that stump. There's actually, once I, the road came by, there was three or four that came up. So we got a bite. Now I'll see if we can do something with it. It's just, I mean, you have to, it's 39 degrees, the water temperature is. Just gonna slow down. And this is, so this is just a big flat creek. And this is the only contour change in it. You can see it's just a little, and it's not much. It goes from like 14 to 17 or 18, but it's got a couple big stumps on it. And uh, when I first looked at it, I didn't see any fish, and I don't know if they're if they're so tight to the bottom that I couldn't see them or what. But I jerked the rogue by there the first time, and I seen one come up. And on that cast, there was three or four that was following it. So there's more down there. So driving here this morning, you know, if I had to guess, after all the cold weather that we've had, it would be something like off these points or you know, rogue, something out. And I started this morning. I think I'm just fishing too fast now. I've only caught one. But the stump that I caught the one on, I saw three or four more with it. Um, this is just a flat lake. Like, there's just not a lot of contour. There's deep water, but the, it just gradually slopes. The one place that I, you know, saw a few fish, it had a little bit of an edge there. So that's, you know, it's getting late in the day. You know, talking about getting a pattern going. I mean, we only got one piece, but I'm just going to kind of run with that and see if, uh, you know, we can't catch some more. I've tried a lot of stuff up shallow, and the, and the thing is, I haven't had any bites up there. But most disturbing, I just haven't seen any fish swimming around up there on live scope. It's just been like a barren sea. Occasionally one or two here and there, but not anything to get excited about. So I'm going to kind of go with, Go with this and just see if I can find something, a brush pile, you know, some more stumps, something out off of the bank. You know, coming out here, I knew it was going to be tough. I mean, we've had, it's been really, really cold. Uh, we kind of randomly just picked a lake that I hadn't been to and, 
you know, one of the things I didn't think about, there's, there's just not a lot of contour and not making any excuses. There's an overabundance of grass, shallow grass, and I really thought that I could catch them out of the grass. Never had a bite all day doing it. And, you know, I've literally fished two circles around this lake, and it's pretty, it's pretty good size. Just looking for something that's different and, you know, only catching one and catching it deeper out there uh, on the kind of stuff that I thought they would be on, you know, it makes me think that they're probably deeper than what I'm even fishing. I mean, the water temperature is 38, 39 most of the day. And, you know, a lot of times there's, there's practice days like this in the tournament where after the practice day, I'm just like, I didn't learn anything. You know, the only thing I learned is the, the areas that didn't look good or did look good. And you just really have to scrap it. You know, if I were to come back fishing out here tomorrow, yeah, I would, I would remember what happened today and, and kind of take that, but, but do something a little bit different. You know, I wouldn't come back out here and fish a lot of the same stuff, even where I caught that one fish. You know, it's not like, well, I caught one, I'll go sit there all day if I was fishing a tournament. No, there's something, there's, this thing has a lot of fish in it. We just didn't figure it out. And there's, there's a lot of fishing days that I don't figure it out, probably more so than when I do. But, you know, it's one of those just tough days. Weather was nice, but that was really the only good thing about the day. So, hope you guys learned something, and uh, thanks for riding along.